Hi guys, welcome back to Empower In and welcome to Motivation Monday. So in this Motivation Monday, I wanted to talk about death and dying, particularly because just the other day I had an interesting experience and I kind of wanted to share that with you. So I was working in an oncology unit and a patient of mine died and you know, she died very peacefully. She was I think in her like late 80s or 90s and it was expected. She was in hospice service and so this was wasn't a surprise, it was really just any minute. After she passed though, um, the nursing assistant did the postmortem care and as far as I knew, like everything was good and so they were about to bring the patient downstairs to the morgue and then the security guard came and said that there's no toe tag. So I asked the nursing assistant, I said, did you put, you know, the tag on the patient's toe? And she was like, no, I didn't. And I was like, oh, okay, could you? <laughs> and um, she just was so sweet and she asked me, she's like, Caroline, can you please do it? And with that face, like I couldn't say no. So I was like, of course. So I went to the room and to put the tag and I tried to open the bag from the bottom and I couldn't, it could only be open from the top. And so when I unzipped the bag, of course, I just had to take a moment to look at my patient's face. And you know, I looked at her lifeless body and I think when we're looking at people that have passed, it's, it's really natural to to think about our own mortality. And an interesting thought came to mind. You know, she's she lived and what appeared to be a good life, she had really nice family around her. She passed in comfort. She was fully grown. She was, like I said, in her 90s, late 80s. And I just started to think about it. And I was like, you know, one day my body will be lifeless. One day my spirit will leave. One day all the energy here will not be there. And so I started I started to get actually um, energized by this because I was like, you know what? I have so many goals. I have so many dreams. I have so many things that I want to do and I don't have that much time to do them because one day, just like everybody else, just like all of us, I will not be here anymore. I also started to think about it and I thought, you know, what if I died and it wasn't a good like experience for everybody around me, if it was like a traumatic thing? And I was like, well, as much as possible, I would want to prevent prevent that if possible. <laughs> and I would want to make it like this woman did a very nice experience for everybody. Her husband was holding her hand, her family, like I said, was at her bedside. It was really just as good as can be expected, a wonderful experience. So right then and there, I, out of respect and reverence, I said a nice little prayer for her and I put the toe tag on her toe and I closed the bag and that was it. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> but. I'll never forget that, you know, just one day we're not going to be here. This time that we have right now is all that we know. The present is exactly that. It's a present. So let's make the absolute best of it. All right, guys, I really hope that you like this Motivation Monday tip. I cannot wait to see you next week for another quick tip, all right? I love you guys so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. Nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the Dean's List. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.